Hello and welcome to another episode of Thursday Night Deck Building. The Star Trek CCG World Championships are going to start this weekend in Orlando, Florida and I can't be there this time myself. However, if Worlds were closer to me and I could actually go there, I'm going to show you what I would most likely play in one of the main events. Now, at a World Championship you usually bring several decks with you to adapt between day one and day two to what I've seen so far, but one of the decks that I would definitely bring with me is one centered around this particular card here. It's a new card from the latest virtual release, Paradise Lost, and it's an interrupt called Double Dumbass on You. Game text reads, Plays when a dilemma has just stopped any number of personnel, choose a crew or away team at that location and randomly stop up to that many additional personnel. Now this can have several uses, you can play this on your own crew or away team, you can play it on an opponent's different crew or away team, or you can play it on the same crew or away team. For now we will focus simply on the last function, play it on the same away team from which or crew from which personnel were stopped by a dilemma. Now we can simply turn a filter dilemma into a full stop here. For example, consider this one here, more of your kind, very easy dilemma, randomly stops half of your crew round down, nullify with any orb experience icon personnel. Let's say our opponent runs into that with 8 personnel, randomly stops half of that crew, so we'll stop 4, we'll just play double dumbass on you to stop 4 additional personnel. Now this filter dilemma has been turned into a complete stop and our opponent won't get to see the next dilemma. That's nice, but it's nothing to write home about. What we're really interested in is using a combination of filter dilemmas and double dumbass on you to set up particularly, particularly devastating dilemmas that give us a huge payoff. For example, consider this mission here, Fisher Research. We have more of your kind. If our opponent attempts with nine personal, four will be stopped by this dilemma. Then we can play double dumbass on you to stop four more, meaning exactly one personal will go on and that personnel will face linguistic Leberkass here. So unless that personnel happens to have anthropology and exobiology, and there are not many people in the game that actually have that combination, um, this dilemma will hit. And in this case, since there is only one personnel left, that means for the other two affiliations, we don't have the affiliation icons. We get another one from the dilemma itself. This dilemma won't, uh, will make sure that this mission can't be attempted for three turns. And almost every deck will have a mission that has several affiliation icons. So it's usually worth running that uh, dilemma once. So that was the lucky case that our opponent attempted with nine personnel and we could stop four plus four. What if they attempt with only eight? More of your kind stops four of them. We can still play double dumbass on you because we can stop up to that many personnel. So we can say we will cap it at three, four will be stopped by the lemma, three by the interrupt, again one personnel will go on and hit the dilemma here that triggers the countdown. So that mission will be closed for three turns and we still have probably enough space to add whatever other dilemma we want to put afterwards since this was only two cards. So filters like that one work very nicely with Double Dumbass on You. It also has a planet version called Do You Smell Something Burning. Here we can nullify it with a cook or animal or a card that nobody ever plays. Cooks, you can sometimes find uh, several versions of Riker are cooks or Neelix, but still it's, um, it's highly unlikely that they happen to just have that random guy to nullify it, especially if they just run into it on the first try. So these are okay. There are other dilemmas that usually stop several people, Romulan mind probes or Chula the Chandra, randomly select a guy and then personnel that don't have either the same printed skill or one of the same printed skills or a matching attribute will be stopped. Usually these stop cards stop several guys each. Again with double dumbers we can stop more and then we can set up something like the linguistic here. Again, that's in the category nice and strong, but not yet at the power level where we want to end up. There are other dilemmas that stop people 
and then afterwards have a wall component like the arsenal dilemmas the arsenal divided and the arsenal separated divided is the stronger one here divide your unique crew members into two face down piles one pile is stopped so once personal are stopped we can respond to that with double dumbass and stop that same number again and then it has a wall component as well to get past ship must be staffed and have integrity greater than 27 remaining so that pairs very nicely we can with a single dilemma delay our opponent for quite some time it also works nicely with armor's energy field with all consuming evil as a booster to it there is a mission that downloads this this will first stop two personnel we can turn that into four personnel and then after those four stops crew must be able to meet mission requirements even if playing borg so that is also a very powerful combination however none of these compare to the real kicker here and that is one of my favorite dilemmas temptations of the flesh one person is stopped random selection for each objective in play limit five if we're going to use this dilemma of course we will make sure that there are five objectives in play so five uh, personnel will be stopped with double dumbers we can turn this into 10 personnel and then they still need another guy to get through and that guy must have a gold star or the enterprise e icon or must be a queen like the boar queen or the spider queen janeway or um, carolyn palamas from the original series who also happens to be apollo's queen of beauty so in order to be guaranteed to get through our opponent would have to attempt with 11 guys that all have a gold star or the enterprise e icon or happen to be queens and then we could still stop five stop another five and then a single personnel would get through and they could then just run into the linguistic now where it's even more devious is when we realize that we can do this more than once we can have a lot of people let's say our opponent happens to have 11 guys with a gold star and runs into temptations of the flesh we can respond to that multiple times if you don't believe me look it up in the rule book it's under actions just we can respond to the same trigger with multiple just actions so we can stop five with the dilemma double dumbers for five more stops triple dumbers for five more stops quadruple dumbers for another five stops so we can potentially stop 20 guys just by spamming that interrupt on that dilemma here and then it's really a question of how greedy do we want to get do we just want to stop them from ever getting through or if they say if they attempt with say 18 personnel we'll stop five with, with that 10 by playing it uh, once 15 by playing it another time and then the next copy will say we'll only stop two more personnel so 17 out of the 18 that attempt will be stopped and then that last person will run into something like Vicher. is that your lucky guy that has two empathy or diplomacy anthropology and computer skill on just one personnel currently for double empathy there are 13 options in the game several of which are versions of the uh, loxana troy and for anthro diplo computer skill i think it's also exactly 13 options and three of those are versions of quark so you have a very good chance of making sure uh, or of increasing your chances of killing a huge crew by forcing your opponent to bring a, a huge bunch and then you simply decide okay this time i'm going to let one of those guys get through um, if they have the gold star of course which is by no means guaranteed and then they would hit uh, Vicha, and that would be the end of that crew or away team and that was still only two cards then you still have room for fun cards like on our own threat randomly stop a personal unless the remaining guys have two diplomacy and medical or two security and strength credit within five that person is killed again even to such a simple dilemma that only stops a single guy 
we could spam multiple dumbasses to stop not one but two three four guys maybe and then they would still have to get through the wall part so that's a rather powerful thing i tried this in a recent online tournament i won three games out of five with that the two games i lost were not because this didn't work but rather because other things in my deck uh, weren't working as well as this part did so i like my chances with that so in order to pull this off what do we really need we of course need multiple copies of double dumbest since that is our key card here to make sure that we can draw into them we need lots of card draws and to make sure that temptations of the flesh is set up from the get-go we want to start with a lot of objectives there are several decks that can provide us with the necessary infrastructure i've tried it with a deck in the mirror quadrant only i've tried it with a alpha and mirror quadrant deck i've tried it with a pure alpha quadrant deck there are multiple affiliations that allow you to to set this up so i'm just going to show you one of the ways that you could do this so here we go this is a mirror quadrant terran empire deck we have six missions here let's start with the doorways alternate universe doorway and q's tent the good old staples then we have a couple of missions evade patrolling squadron downloads navigate plasma storm um, disrupt alliance allows us to download an emblem card of the empire this one in turn allows us to download the art of diplomacy and visit parallel universe allows us to download crossover and invitation so a lot of stuff going on here then we have a terran outpost at mind lithium we have a space door on that outpost we have the time location which allows us to download the iss enterprise which allows us to download james tiberius kirk who gets tantalus field and the classic communicator all in the seed phase we have protect the timeline at the time location to give us a second free play there we have study divergent history on our mirror quadrant ship which allows us to draw cards we have homestead which allows us to complete three missions in the mirror quadrant and win the game with only 100 points instead of the 140 we have taking charge which we will use to download objectives on our missions we have assigned support personnel and assigned mission specialists the mission specialists will download to that outpost are ensign davis and chief pitcairn and to facilitate card draws we have five-year mission and habit of disappearing now a lot going on here but notice that from the start we have one two three four objectives here already meaning that temptations of the flesh will start off with four stops and that is usually enough to stop a first turn mission attempt if you don't get the first turn so let's move on a little bit how does a typical turn play out here let's shuffle the deck let's draw seven cards and as you can see we already have the first double dumbass in hand what we usually do on our first turn is we will close the space door to grab a ship grab an ISIS constitution then we will play two personal for free with the Halkin Council and protect the timeline. Thanks to crossover and invitation, we can once per turn report an Alpha Quadrant personal to the Mirror Quadrant. So let's say we'll play Mr. Spock. And we have a Mirror Quadrant personal that plays for free as well. That's Marlena Moreau. And our regular car play was the ISS Constitution. The ISS Enterprise has Kirk aboard. The guys we played will also go aboard they have, will have the study divergent history that equipment and the artifact aboard with protector timeline they can relocate to the regular space line there we can beam over the guys from the outpost at this point we will flip taking charge which is a hidden agenda this one allows us to download objectives on missions if we have a captain there james tiberius kirk is a captain so we can look through our deck uh, grab an objective for example there should be a fear will keep them in line yeah there it is 
we put that there and then we already have five objectives there on the table study divergent history fear will keep them in line navigate plasma storms assign mission specialists assign support personnel so our temptations of the flash is already maxed out even if our opponent doesn't contribute a single objective to the ones on the table and then we will just go about our merry way we have one double dumbass in hand we want more so we can draw more with study divergent history we can stop mirror and alpha for one card draw and we can do this twice per turn so we have another alpha and another uh, mirror guy to draw two cards in our order space there is another double dumbass and then at the end of the turn we will get to draw three cards habit of disappearing makes us remove a card from the game top card that's going to the top that's removed but it also allows us to draw one five year mission allows us to draw another if all our guys have the original series icon draw another and our regular card draw at the end of the turn gives us another so we are looking at three double dumbasses right now after our first turn if we went first then we already have a good setup in case our opponent uh, does an early attempt and it only gets better on our second turn we would probably play another alpha quadrant personnel another mirror quadrant personnel we could play another ship just to have more mobility and we would download another objective with taking charge we would probably fly over to that mission and put process or mining there with a new objective we can afford to ditch one of the others so let's get rid of assigned support personnel download this support personnel to the matching outpost and then we can fly that ship to the regular space line these guys can fly the ship fly the guy with double geology over to process or mining and then we would still be able to do everything we are doing stop two for study divergent history remove one from the game with habit of disappearing draw three so we already have 12 cards in hand you see we have more than enough cards and with process or mining we have the option of uh, cycling even more cards if we don't feel comfortable with our three copies of double dumbers at the start of our turn we can um, simply pitch a personal we consider expendable crewman pert let's discard him remove the bottom card from the game for two more card draws and then we still have uh, more personal and we will draw or we will see up to seven cards per turn with just over 60 cards in the deck that means by turn seven our deck can be gone if we want to do that we can simply uh, draw through our deck very quickly and have access to all these interrupts that boost our dilemmas so the idea would then be to try and see which missions we want to lock usually i will try to put temptations of the flash with a feature under two space missions maybe lock the other space mission with a dead end so they can't uh, get through that one look for a mission that has a lot of icons and use something like the do you smell something burning into linguistic wherever it is over here so we could block mine the lithium with that and depending on how greedy you feel you could also include a second linguistic or just punish them for attempting the other planets by playing a huge wall for example phase in powers which requires simply a lot of attributes and then kill a lot of guys with denver neural parasites followed up with something else that uh, also requires them to first kill a guy for example the perennial favorite rules of obedience and then has a wall component as well so the idea would be a couple of missions will be locked 
for quite a long time with the double dumbass combo and if you have the chance uh, do it on the same um, on the same type of mission so lock two space or two planet dilemmas with temptations of the flesh and a third one with a dead end if they have three and three or if they have four and two um, just lock the one where they have two and punish them with a lot of kill dilemmas at the others as I said, my test draws with this kind of deck have been very promising. The games I've played were okay. Three wins were relatively clear. The two losses um, were mostly because I played gimmicky dilemmas at missions where I should, I should have played proper dilemma combos. But what worked nicely in, in the losses as well was this Temptations of the Flash and, and Vicha. Uh, in one game I think it was a, a ship with nine personnel aboard that was uh, eventually destroyed or maybe it was 11 and occasionally you will simply have a bad draw if you have a very convoluted deck like I had in the online tournament. The one I'm going to post here is more streamlined it doesn't have as many other gimmicks, but it goes all in on the double dumbest thing. And as I said, there are other affiliations that you can use to set up that uh, dilemma strategy. And this one here is not the strongest, at least uh, in my testing, this one has not turned out to, to be the strongest. I'm pretty sure we are going to see this at some point during Worlds weekend. I know other players know about this. I have talked to, to one or two of them and there are also other decks, uh, other tournaments uh, around the world this weekend where I think some people might also bring out this tech. It's certainly one, uh, one that I would feel very comfortable with uh, taking into a big tournament. Let me know what you think about this. As always, thanks for watching. Content isn't coming as regularly as it used to for various reasons. Um, I hope to produce more dilemma or deck building videos in the coming weeks. Until the next time, I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching and expand your power in the universe. Bye bye.